Yeah, yeah, you. Mm. Yeah, if we'd have checked into a B&B, I'd be halfway through a full English by now. Oh, you wouldn't have had so much fun camping out in our new home. Fun? Mum, my back is killing me, and I think, I think I've got a spider stuck up my nose. Well, I have good news. The removal van's on its way. Perfect. Or well, it's not too late to lock the doors, turn the van around and get the hell out of here. Oh, hey! I've just got a pick Bell up from her sleepover. I'll pick something up for tea on the way back. Hey, hey, we, we thought we saved you the trouble. Oh, it's all sorted. You got some food? Off your own back? Uh, yeah, there's a lad down the road, he's got a spare leg of lamb or two. Yeah, swap it for a couple of dozen of our free range eggs and, well, Bob's your roast potato. <laughs> you best turn the oven up high then. Just pick up the mint sauce. Help ourselves to farm machinery, he says. So we went one better. What use are Andy's old clinkering sheep to us? Hmm? What do you think? Sorry, ladies. But it's curtains for one of you. Ah, uh, yes, but I have every confidence in your management skills. Talk to you later. I take it that wasn't Thumb and Louise. Talk to the bug. <laughs> no, your sister has just texted. They've arrived. And of course, they're heading straight to the spa. So unfair. How come I don't get to go on holiday? Well, do you really want to be covered in mud and scrubbed down and sprayed with cold water? Sounds just like Junior's rugby. Uh, no, it's what girls do when they go to a spa. And believe me, there's no place for a red-blooded male there. Hmm. But I can offer you a day on the river with your dad. Don't have to. I'm just about to crack the Mega Kingdom on my new game. But to be honest, I've been landed with all of Mum's meetings and... Well, anyway, aren't you supposed to be going down the shop to supervise? Uh, I'll pop in later, I suppose, but only after I've taken my sons to the pub for a working lunch. How's that sound? Cool. Yeah, sounds great. I'll see you down there. Excellent. Now, are you sure you want to spend your entire holidays in front of that computer? You're going to end up with bug eyes. Hey, up! <laughs> Someone grab a camera. My wife's finally doing something useful. Well, if it's up to you two, we'd still be picking cobwebs over here at Christmas. You're so mean. Every cobweb's in Spider Family's home. Ugh. Want them falling on your head in the middle of the night, do you? I wouldn't mind if it meant we weren't stuck in here all holidays. <laughs> it's only for a day or two, isn't it? Yeah, well, you and Adam skive off and listen to CDs in the tractor. We've been grafting, haven't we, son? To you, I. Well, you heard the girl. Grab a brush. Oh, I'd love to, Bez, but we've got a meeting to go to up at the big house. Still don't see why I can't come. Since when have you ever been fussed about the farm? Since you got an eyeful of the young master. Oh, well, I'll tell him if you fancy him, if you like. Don't you dare. <laughs> no, tell him she wants to marry him. Holly Barton, didn't know how to have fun. Never smiled until she married Nathan Wilde. <laughs> <laughs> so pathetic and immature. Morning. Well, I just on our way up to see you. Yeah, I thought I'd save you the hassle. Oh, and uh, hopefully this will help you settle in. Well, come on, girls. Where's your manners? Put the kettle on. You never said you were off out. I didn't realise I had to put in a flight plan. Anywhere in particular? I just needed to see daylight for a minute. Well, now you've seen it, why don't you come back in and have a brew? And then help me with the delivery. Sometimes you have to ring him half a dozen times before you get a reply, but he still retains that common touch. No airs and graces. He's just flesh and blood like the rest of us. It's true what they say about the rich, you know. They have an aura all to themselves. Expensive cologne, the scent of old leather. You've got a man crush on Mark Wild. We have a cordial working relationship. What's wrong with that? Tenant's cottage? There. Cheers, mate. Hey, you can't park there. 
my ear were burning all night. Do you know, mine has been and all. Only because it's seen the sun for the first time in years. It's this one. Let me have a look, because the delicate ears, Marlon. Get a bit of cream on it. Right, for spite. Must be picking up vibes from Viv and Don on the third bottle what? of Plonk. Hundreds of miles away, slagging me off. No, look, you're being stupid. You're paranoid. That's your problem. Well, do you mate. blame me? Because this way, Donna gets her side of the story in first, and Viv comes back to the village to dismember me. You're being daft. Hey up, lads. What do you reckon? To what? An unfettered expanse of flesh from knee to ankle. She's been detagged, hasn't she, <laughs> yeah. Mal? I've been liberated. From now on, I'm a free woman. <laughs> Thought I'd offer you the same deal as I offered Andy. Did you know you're our first proper visitor? <laughs> he does know. I've already settled on the rent, signed and sealed with the solicitor. No, for your beef. Look, I mean, if you can send me a few samples and I'll uh, check that it's up to standard, I'll be happy to take it off your hands. That's very generous of you, Mr. Wall. Mm. Of course, I'll market it under my own brand, down at the shop in the village. That's a great idea, isn't it, Dad? <laughs> like you'd know. Well, I would, but I've got my hands full of what with the supermarket chain and my farm sales. Barton's Beef. We supply a few restaurants too. He's even got his rubbish photo on the packet. Looks like he's lost all his teeth. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that. Small retailer like you, it's not really worth us printing up the labels. Teach me to do my homework. I'll be seeing you. Bye. Bye, Nathan. <laughs> Dad, we could deliver to Home Farm, no problem. What do I have to say no for? Here, yeah, Sam. <coughs> Shannon. Uh, <laughs> that would have fixed. Hi, fair and square, you lost. Yeah, now get your black cap on. And we'll never get the damn thing butchered for tea, Sam. I'll have that fat one over there. Come mm. here, you plumptuous little lamb chop. There. <laughs> oh, oh, you calm little clown. Get it back. Come back. Prepare to meet your maker. Uh, Mum? Lamb for tea, eh, boys? Apparently, if they park outside the house, they won't be able to turn the lorry. We've met before. Don't tell me. You came into the shop. You're a friend of Natasha's, right? Um. Mum? We do have quite a lot in common, That's yeah. Right. I never forget a face. Rodney Blackstock. How oh, nice to make your acquaintance. Hi, I'm Faye Lamb. This is Ryan. Welcome. Hi. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I have to get on, actually. Hey, what sort of a gentleman lets a lady take the strain? You just tell me where you want it. Oh, what a gentleman, thank you. In the kitchen. Uh, Douglas, what about the shop? You'll have to manage on your own, won't you? <sighs> I insist. Any friend of the wilds is a friend of mine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Layla. Oh, hi. Ryan. Oh, we, are, are you a couple? Oh, Brian's my son. <laughs> oh. Layla, shop. See ya. I do like a lady who knows how to get her own way. Oh, if only. <laughs> See you, Rodney. Yeah, I most certainly hope so. I hope he's not going to make a habit of walking in on us. I know, Andy, one day and the next. Why bother with the front door, eh? No need to be so rude to him, was there? There's no need to bow and scrape, either. He's our landlord, he's not our master. And why should he profit from our produce? Mm. That stupid supermarket does. Hey, your dad's happy enough with what they pay. They pay him enough in rent, he can get his pound of flesh from someone else. Dad, I'm sure that we got off Ted. You've not moved them, have you? Yeah, I just popped them here under the table. <laughs> Only they're not where we left them last night. That's all a flaming need, isn't it? Bye. See ya. 